It's our little home away from home for the night, a few nights. Well, you have snacks for us. Very nice kitchen area. Which leads fire. Fire. Patrick gonna do fire. Fire. <laughs> TV. And this goes back to the front door. How does fire work? Okay, there's a just a closet. Vacuum in it. Is this a nice little half bath? This has two entryways to this bedroom. So here's one bedroom. A fan. Then it goes out to here's the bathroom. Oops. Okay. Gotta be careful, I guess. So really burgundy stairs going up to the second level a real nice sitting area in here oh, look what they did over here with the plaster they made like vines and trees and stuff kind of pretty interesting That's the view. Then here's the bathroom. Just a simple one sink. Interesting light bar. Looks like it shows a lot. Um, just another dual heads a tub if you want it one thing that's cool is all throughout the house they already have the phone charger cords set up for everyone in the rooms in the kitchen so that's a nice feature I'm just sitting here watching TV and we've already had about five deer come graze in the back here so kind of cool. Okay, good morning, everybody. Good morning. 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 So uh, we're off to where are we going? We're going hog hunt. Yeah, hog hunt. Hog we are hunt. leaving Sisters, Oregon, right now from our Airbnb. I'm trying to video tape and drive and navigate at the same time. <laughs> Which yeah, smart thing. Love. I could do. Um, so we're heading out to Four Aces Ranch right now. We, um, it's got the rig all packed up. We're about a two hour drive out. So we will, uh, get back to you when we get up there and okay. we'll see how they do. So yeah, the marking into the hog area where we're going hog hunting is marked by a giraffe. And it's on this ledge way up there. <laughs> okay, I'm still breaking out. So we're out here on the ranch. Just got done zeroing. We're getting ready. Naturally, we're waiting on somebody. Yep. I wonder where she can be. Like always. <laughs> so anyway, we're about to go uh, see if we can find some pig. We got our chain, our guide ready to go. So just give us a couple minutes. Okay, so we're out here on the ranch. We're just ready to... Uh, See if we can find some pigs. We got Mason and Judah in the back stands over here, so we'll see what we got. 
So we just got up here, did a good bit of wheeling to get up here. And uh, they're, they're doing some scout. There's Stan the man. Just Here's the top of this bluff up here. And we're just kind of looking over. There's our guide, Shane. Just kind of glassing to see uh, what we can find. So far, it's a gorgeous day up here, about 55 degrees. Found some pigs We're racing up. Stand the man that's kind of jumping the gun here. So we're gonna see what we got here. See if it gets clear. Nice. Beautiful. It's stuck. Yep. Okay, so we got one down. Now, well, they're kind of overlapped, so. He's going to come right behind the tree and come out right on the side. Okay. The one in the back you're talking about? Beautiful. Nice shot. Huh? Here we are, Mason, with the thing. You got him. You got him. him. He ain't. He's down. Okay. I'm gonna do a dead check here. See what we got. Ah! They can't see okay. Me. So here we are. Three for three. Ooh. There we go. Good sized pigs. Yeah. Good looking crew. Oh, Successful good day. Crew. Successful <laughs> day, guys. Congratulations. That's Thank great. You. How do you feel? Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> now we've got to get this thing loaded up. I think I need a drink now. Yeah. We have that. We have that. So, all right, here we go. Wayne Mason's pig here. Yep. Two twenty nine. Two twenty nine. That's a good pig. All right. All right. See what we got, Julie. You want me to get that pig? Yeah. 
One. Oh. You're 28. <laughs> One pound. <laughs> Mine's bigger. <laughs> All right, we have a estimated weight of 300 here for Stan. Two forty-eight. But still, Stan got the biggest pig. Julie, what you doing? What you doing? I'm sticking a tag in this meat. He's tagging her meat. Tagging my meat. It's part about hunting. What? Why can't we get some weird big deal? It's funny that your uh your sweatshirt and the pig meat are the same color. <laughs> <laughs>Okay, so it is the end of the day. It's about four o'clock and I'm still awake. We're all still awake, so that's a good start <laughs> for everybody. We say three pigs. Got three of them. So uh Stan, why don't you take that and just kinda okay. tell us about your trip. Uh it's been a fantastic trip. We got a nice place to stay at and uh it had three be uh, bedrooms, so so we were in great shape. Uh the hunt today was fantastic. We went out in some pretty nice country that we never had a chance to see before. And so it's been a blast. So I think it, uh, this has been a very memorable, uh, memorable for me. Fantastic. Right, Mason? Hand it back to them, yeah. Not too much, not too much. <laughs> oh, well, shot the bad pig, Grant, so we're good there. Uh, Cadence, I got dirty, shot, got a bunch of blood on me which you probably don't want to hear but honestly it was an amazing trip um good people uh shane the guy that was our guide and stuff like that knew his stuff made it fun um but it was awesome to see grandpa and gma get her pig and for probably one of the best experience of my life so thank you guys i loved being out here with my dad and my son and it was a great time, and, and we, oh yes, and Patrick was here too. Hey, one of the best chauffeurs you could ever ask Yes, for. he did an amazing job being our tour guide, except for to a he certain point. He did crack point. the flask. <laughs> I didn't do it. Um, <laughs> it's a wonderful memory that um, I'm glad to experience with my family, so it was wonderful. Yeah, so uh, my attendants uh, today were subpar. They, uh, no, I'm just kidding. We had a fantastic time. These are memories that I wouldn't trade for any amount of gold, any amount of dollars, any amount of anything. So you cannot beat this. So great day. When we get back to the ranch, we'll uh, sh kind of show you the, the spoils of the day. So we'll talk to you then. Okay. Yeah. Ciao. Ciao. Well, guys, it's <laughs> Tuesday morning. We're heading out back home. Mm -hmm. uh, an amazing trip. Um, yeah. Everyone is pretty happy with the success. Well, we all were. Yes, it, it was a great trip. Um, the place we stayed out out here in Sisters, it was a little bit of a drive, but very comfortable. I definitely recommend this place. Um, if you anybody wants to stay here, just give us a text, shoot us an email, let us know. We'll give you the link. They were fantastic. We'll add it in the con the thank yous uh, also. So oh. we have Mason's meat here. There's his name tag, and we're going to weigh it. And here uh, at Southern Oregon Meats. And the weight, 138 and a half pounds. So we got that one. And then we have Sly, Stan, and 155 hanging weight. Here is mine, Julie's, all ready to go. There's the name. And then we come over here to the scale 
and it's 139. So I guess Mason's got the smallest pig. Okay, so yeah, the drive out, a little far to go to the ranch, but it was two hours. I want you to flip the camera around. And that we're looking at, I mean, this is a gorgeous area. You can't really see it, but off to the right over there is a mountain ranges that are very majestic looking. A lot of construction per usual in Oregon. So, Four Aces Ranch, like, once again, I think they did a really good job. What do you think? Oh, yeah. Um, they are attentive to make sure you get what you want out of it. And yeah. the scenery and just driving around their property uh, was really neat. And it was fun to uh, stop every once in a while and, and scope out the land and see if we could find the pigs before uh, we actually came up on them. So one uh -huh. thing I would definitely recommend is bring your own binoculars, wear clothes you do not mind getting completely filthy, bloody, you name it, mucky, watery, wet, whatever. Um, wear good clothes, but uh, be prepared to wash them. Yeah, yeah, just make sure, yeah, easy clean, you know, just like any other hunt that you've been, uh, hopefully been on, or if it's your first one. This would be a really good starter for people that want to go pig hunting as well. It's here in our lovely Central Oregon, so that makes it really nice. Uh, and a little easier cost efficient than if you uh, had to fly out and go to one yeah, of these like, places. Yeah, if you go to Texas or something like that, you have, you have all these other expenses. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's there's still cost involved in assist. Much, I think it's much more feasible. You don't have you know a day there, a day back. It's it's just a little more logistical friendly if you live over here in Oregon. I think. And we brought our we brought our side by side, but they have side by sides there, mm -hmm. uh, so you don't need to have your own to go on the property and hunt and be very comfortable. And especially when you're going around this fifty one. How many acres was it again? 5,500. 5,500 acre property. Yeah. That was just gorgeous. And it's just not pigs they have there, so you can look them up to see what else uh, might be an opportunity for you. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching us. And we had an amazing time and hope um, to show you more later. All right, we'll catch you on the flip side, guys. Bye.